What's up everybody? We've got a tutorial here on how to use Flask in REPL. Um, this is setting up a simple HTTP server running Flask in Python 3. So um, it's, this page is that link that I put in that Google Doc um, that we're working on today. Um, and here's some example code that they give us um, to making a simple Flask application. And if we click open in REPL.IT, it will take us to the author's original REPL page. Um, Timmy Chen, it looks like, made this for us. And if we um, change any part of this, so let's say I want to change, instead of hello world, have it say, um, hello, Mr. Buckley, or you'd put your name there, of course. Um, it'll fork his REPL into your account. So make sure you're signed in for this, of course. Um, but now I have Flask boilerplate in my REPLs. I can just show you that just to confirm for you. So if I open up my REPLs, it should say Flask boilerplate there. Now there it is, 18 seconds ago it was created. Um, so I'm going to rename it, though, just to say Flask. Um, then we're going to make some things happen here. So... Um, when you start your server, or your Flask application, which is a server application, um, then it's going to output some stuff, of course, just collecting some packages to run Flask. And then it's going to be running your server at this IP address, um, which is accessible through this public URL. So if I copy this URL and open it up on the web browser, It'll just say, hello, Mr. Buckley, which is exactly what I want it to say when I go to um, the base URL, which is just this stuff. So with nothing added on um, to the URL, um, the server is going to do this function, this hello world function, which now says, hello, Mr. Buckley. But if we go to a different URL, let's say we were to add something on the end here, um, like slash hello or something as of right now it says not found because we haven't created any code in our server application to um, resolve this URL so in order to do that we create a new route this is just basically um, the end of a URL so like this part right here would be a route it's like a path to get to information. So this route is going to be slash hello. And we're going to define a function to be associated with it. And we'll call it hello everyone. And then we'll just return hello everyone. Something like that. So if I restart my server here and refresh the page here, so let me copy this over again. Go to hello. What's my server running yet? Oh, I forgot to add a slash on the end here. See, even Mr. Buckley makes mistakes all the time, as you guys know. There it is. So it looks like I had to write out this entire part. So I have a slash and then the name of my path or route, and then um, another slash at the end to make it work. Okay, let's say I wanted to create a message when I go to a route that doesn't exist. Uh, before we saw that it just said not found or something like that. So in order to do that, let's just Google how to do that. Flask 404 page, something like that. Custom error pages. Let's see what this looks like. This is how you're going to learn how to do Flask. Just Google Flask and then the thing you want to do, and you'll be able to find stuff about it, right? So, this is what we want. 
The good old chap who made a mistake typing that URL message. Let's look at this code here a little bit. And let's just grab this piece right here. Let me copy it. And instead of, we don't have a 404 HTML page written yet, so um, let's just say page not found silly. Check your routes. Check your route. Okay, let's see if this works for us. So let's say I type in something like beans. It says page not found, silly. And something fancy here is that if you'll see in our terminal output, it says um, our server tried to get the information at beans and um, it returned a 404 error, page not found. So there you go. For your assignment, guys, um, you're going to need to have a 404 error handler, and you're going to need to have um, three routes in addition to the index route, which was already given here. Um, so I've already done one in this example, so you need to have two more. Um, you can type straight HTML into here, and it will render the HTML if you've done that if you've done HTML before. Um, but if not, you can just type in regular old strings. Um, just with quotes, and it'll give you text um, at your link. So here's our introduction to servers using Flask. Um, and enjoy. Email me the link to your public REPL when you are finished. And yep, good luck.